If you want to get to know the snowpack in your area, you have to dig down deep and bury yourself in your work. So I take the screen down. I can feel a bit of a stiffer layer from last night when it was warmer. And then I'm hitting a bit of a softer layer. I mark that off, carrying on down through the snow. OK, so one of the most important things when you're looking at the layers is the hardness test. This is something you do first off. You want to just see how the hardness compares from layer to layer. And the thing I'm looking for is if I see any soft layers sandwiched in between harder layers, which I actually do here, there's a stiffer layer from last night that came with the warm temperatures. And underneath it is a bit of a softer layer that came probably last week when the, the weather was a bit cooler, the snow was a bit fluffier. And with the cool temperatures, it didn't have a big chance to settle out. So it's sandwiched in between some harder layers. So looking at this, I can see that this soft layer might turn out to be a bit of a problem for us later when we get more of a load of snow on top. It might be a failure layer, a cause of perhaps some avalanching. The next thing I want to be doing is actually look at the crystals here to see what, what they actually are, what type of snow. I can see that the snow that fell last night is settling rapidly. You don't really see much evidence of snowflakes anymore. So as snow settles and starts rounding, the layer becomes harder. There's less air in it, less fluffy. But when I go down to this other bit of a softer layer that I defined here, have a look at those crystals. You can still see some snowflake shapes in there. Some indications that this layer isn't or hasn't settled as quickly as the warmer layer above it. So settlement usually happens pretty quickly around around here just because of the warmer temperatures we have. When you look at the snowpack, say out in an area where the, the temperatures are consistently cooler, say out in the Rockies, you'll probably find a lot more soft layers and layers buried deep down in the snow where you can actually still see uh, defined snow crystals. But as I was saying around here, our snowpack settles pretty quickly, which is something we're glad to have. This information is shared with the public. Local papers, snow phones, and the internet have snowpack conditions and avalanche hazard ratings for most areas. Good morning. How are you doing there, Dan? It's Dan calling from Whistler Mountain. I've got some of our observations here this morning for you. Okay, currently up at 1835 meters, we've got... Search and rescue teams use this information to help them in the field. If avalanche hazard is high, they will take extra precautions and try to avoid some areas. 